Dak Prescott is eligible for a contract extension with the Dallas Cowboys, and it's rumored that he'll break the bank and reset the market. Now, the Dallas Cowboys, to me, they'll officially be the dumbest team in the NFL if they break the bank on Dak Prescott and re-sign him to another four years. Absolutely the dumbest thing the Dallas Cowboys can do, especially when you got assets like C.D. Lamb, who's waiting to get paid and going to ask for some more money pretty soon. When you got guys like Mark, Micah Parsons, who's going to be asking for some more money pretty soon. Like this to me, paying Dak Prescott will be the most idiotic thing the Dallas Cowboys can do. To me, bro is not that franchise quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. If they want to go to a Super Bowl, if, if they want to have any sort of playoff success, clearly it's been proven. Dak Prescott is not that guy when it comes to competing in the playoffs and getting over the hump and winning these big games. And I'm not saying that he's a bad quarterback because he is. He's fairly mediocre when you look at the scale of quarterbacks in the NFL. And I, I would put him, let me let me correct myself, I would put him just above mediocrity if I had to, to label him somewhere on the scale of great and then average and then bad quarterback. In, a, in the NFL. I don't think he's a bad quarterback. Let me let me set that straight. But Dak Prescott, he's not overbearing with arm strength. He doesn't have a supreme ability to read the defense and break it down. You can't trust Dak Prescott in the clutch to close out ball games. To me, above all, Dak Prescott doesn't have that special playmaker gene that's unique about him. When I think of other quarterbacks in the league that I like right now, I see these unique qualities around the league for certain quarterbacks. I mean, obviously, Pat Mahomes, he's clutch. He throws any in every single way possible. His IQ is impeccable. This sets him apart from the majority of quarterbacks in the NFL. Lamar Jackson, he's unique by being clearly the best mobile quarterback to ever play the game. The things he can do with his legs, the throws he can make on the run, it's very unique to his skill set. Jordan Love, the back leg throws, he has crazy arm strength. He's very young, but his IQ is at a different level. Joe Burrow, extremely high IQ guy in the pocket and can break down the defense like easily. And then also with Joe Burrow, very accurate. So a lot of these other quarterbacks I see in the NFL, bro. They have this special playmaker gene. They have this significant, unique quality about them that sets them apart from every other quarterback in the league. To me, this is part of the reason why I say Brock Purdy, Dak Prescott, Tua Tagovailoa are all kind of in the same boat because they don't have that unique, special gene about them that's going to set them apart from every other quarterback in the NFL. When I look at certain guys, you can see it. You can see it in their play. And it's just not there for them. And nothing is wrong with that because, I mean, only the greats have that. But a guy can still be good in the league without having that one unique quality. But as far as Dak Prescott, he's mediocre and he's overhyped because of the team he plays for. If the Cowboys want to genuinely become a playoff contender again, they'll find a way to, to get another quarterback and keep C.D. Lamb and keep Michael Parsons and keep all of the other pieces they have on their defensive end because Dak Prescott is not it for the Dallas Cowboys in terms of seeing any sort of success in the playoffs and becoming an elite team in the playoffs again. So, you know, I, I, I'll end with that. And, and, you know, I think the key for the for the Cowboys will be to keep in these guys that they have that are playmakers, to bring back these guys that are playmakers and you know, paying Dak all that money, you see the first the first time around, it didn't work out well when they paid him uh, four years ago. It didn't work out. I think it was 2021. It didn't work out when they paid him. So I, I wouldn't repeat that same mistake. Would not repeat that same mistake at all. 